Tom Mangold, who worked for the show when the interview was secured, said he has faith in the forensic Lord Dyson inquiry ordered by the BBC into allegations forged bank statements were used to obtain it. It is believed the results of the inquiry could be made public this week, while Panorama is conducting its own investigation. Like Lord Dyson, the BBC's Panorama on Panorama is also looking at how Bashir clinched the interview that everyone wanted. The Beeb has yet to confirm its scheduling although it is understood that original plans for it to be screened before Lord Dyson's findings were revealed have now been dropped. Asked if he thought Lord Dyson would get to the truth of the case, Mr. Mangold replied, Yes, I do. I'm a witness in the Dyson inquiry and I found him highly intelligent, very forensic in what he was doing, and asked all the right questions. I believe Dyson will get to the truth. If the BBC forges documents to obtain an interview with anybody, it's a very serious matter. So I don't think you can ignore what happened. Mr. Mangold was on the staff of the BBC team when Bashir unexpectedly landed the world-exclusive interview, in which the princess revealed, there are three people in this marriage. Afterwards, it was revealed bank statements had been falsified. Then BBC executive Tony Hall, later to become Director General, exonerated all parties involved of any wrongdoing. Controversy has continued to surround the Bashir interview, with Earl Spencer eventually demanding a new investigation. Panorama's own probe will be the third TV investigation into the interview this year, with similar programs from Channel 5 and Channel 4. John Ware, from Panorama, has made the documentary, said Mr. Mangold, a former Daily Express journalist. He's a very fine investigative reporter and I'm sure John's documentary will contain the truth. But one well-placed TV production insider said, I'm not saying Panorama investigating itself is corrupt, but it does stoke suspicions that this could be a self-serving exercise, more to do with managing bad news and controlling the possible repercussions. Richard Eyre, then head of editorial policy who oversaw the global scoop, has said, if you could have chosen a Panorama reporter to get a scoop on a scale like this, Martin might have been the last person you would have thought of. One former TV channel boss, who has had many dealings with the corporation at a senior level, said, The question is not so much the forgery, long acknowledged, but the accountability. The graphic artist took the rap, with Tony Hall's full involvement, so we assume that Dyson and Panorama will expose that element of hypocrisy as well as confirming Bashir's slipperiness. Reports from the US suggest the story will cover a whole episode in the upcoming season 5 of The Crown. The BBC was asked to comment but would only refer to an earlier release about the inquiry. Director General Tim Davey said, the BBC is determined to get to the truth about these events and that is why we have commissioned an independent investigation. On Friday it was revealed that Bashir has quit his role at the BBC for health reasons. It was also revealed that Lord Dyson had concluded his investigation and the report had been passed to the BBC for publication.